morning. I went to the gym yesterday and trained quads and um, when I tell you I am sore, I am sore. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's so pretty. You know when the sky's like really pretty and then a big flock of birds flies past. Anyway, good morning, happy Sunday. I don't know what's been going on, but I've started enjoying training upper body more than lower body these days because I just feel like lower body is so strenuous, especially quads. I think it's a weak point for me and because I don't work on it, it's so difficult. But like yesterday, you know when during the workout you're doing like a set and you literally physically seize up so you can't actually do another rep? The amount of times that happened to me yesterday. If you're not using Tone and Sculpt, the app, you need to get on that shit because that shit be crazy. But yeah, I'm also thinking maybe I haven't been eating enough since being back in London. I don't know why, I just don't eat as much. Probably just because I'm lazy, I don't know. I also had my second COVID vaccination the other day and that had me out for the count for a few days. So I'm thinking maybe that's also like made me a little bit weaker. I don't know, that it could be a number of things because like I took pre-workout yesterday and I mean, I felt it, but it didn't really help with the workout. Also, my sleep's been really bad, so that could definitely also be it. Honestly, there is actually nothing better than just chugging cold water in the morning to wake you up. Oh, I need to open the windows. Basically, I just came on here to say good morning and ended up going on a big old run. Yeah, I thought I'd pick up the camera and say hello, because I really want to vlog and I just need to just do it and then I'll be doing it. It's Sunday, I guess we're gonna start the week here. This week is the week leading up to my mum's wedding. She came married for the first time ever. I'm a maid of honor. I'm also expected to do a speech, which I am shitting myself about, so I need to like finalize that. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna drink my water, do my morning meditation, because I do that every morning. I've been talking for way too long now. I'm gonna do my meditation. We get some caffeine in me. And then I think I'm gonna go to the gym again this is my favorite app for meditation it's the calm app and i've been doing the 21 days of calm which are about 15 minutes every morning today's 17 minutes but i love it welcome back to day 19 of the 21 days of calm start by sitting comfortably either on a cushion or upright i'm not gonna lie that was a difficult one still <laughs> that was really difficult my head was like blah, 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 the whole way through that, but we got through it. Let's normalize being 30 and still buying cuddly toys, okay? And being bought cuddly toys by your significant other. I also bought this after Pierre passed away when I got back to London. It reminded me of him because it's like a little log. Um, I have it between my legs. He used to like sleep between my legs with his chin rested on my thigh. Um, it's just chonky and it reminds me of him. It's from Anthropology, by the way, if any of you guys were wondering. It was well overpriced, but really worth it. <laughs> also, if you don't make your bed once you're getting out of it, trust me, that shit will change your life. Just try it one time. Just try it and see how much difference it makes. I love this camera so much, but the battery dies way too fast. Like, what was the reason? Why make the camera so good, but the battery life so bad? It, I, the perfect camera is never gonna happen, is it? Like the all round perfect camera. Hey guys, I'm ready for the gym. Wait, that sounds so weird. I'm ready for the gym. I thought I'd just run you through like my gym makeup. I've literally just got some lip tint on. I've, oh, I'm using the Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip, Bitten Lip Lip Tint. Best product ever. And then I've got the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara just on my top lashes a little bit. And I've just run a little bit of the NYX Brow Glue through my brows. That's literally it. <clears throat> just to feel a li little bit more alive and like, I might film in the gym, so I want to look kind of cute. Um, just did my hair, literally just slicked it back and put some water and gel back on the curly bits to like refresh it, and that's it. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Victoria Beckham Beauty, I think it's quite pricey, but every single product that I've used so far has been 
phenomenal so yeah check it out i haven't had any caffeine i had my oats though and it was good so i feel like i've got energy now so i'm going to do this without without caffeine we're going to have a caffeine free day today okay let's go down. I thought I'd quickly talk you through my outfit. My jumper is weekday times Lee. This sports bra is Tala. These are the most comfortable, beautiful sports bras and they also make you look like you've had a boob job. Like, look at my boobs. Oh my god, the one time I film in the lift, two guys walk in after I said it makes you look like you've got a boob job. <laughs> um, my leggings are from Lululemon, I think. Yeah, Lululemon and then my trainers are New Balance. Guess who forgot to bring her water bottle? <laughs> not being funny but there's no better feeling than putting your feet in crocs when you get home guys i'm doing it I'm having a bath <laughs> lighting in here is so nice <laughs> look like a tomato yeah i'm having a bath it needs to be done my muscles are gonna hate me if i don't do this also it's sunday had a rough week forgot to mention i'm on my period so i'm gonna treat myself to a nice little bath because i don't do it often enough I'm not being funny, but how delicious does that look? Ooh! Mumsy's calling. Mum, you know the drill. Say hello to the fans. Hello. Your biggest fans. So here I was thinking I had a nice little setup going on. Turns out my dusty old iPad that I've had for about four or five years, it just doesn't want to work. Like the server or some shit, like it's connected to Wi-Fi, but it's just not loading YouTube or anything. So that's watching crew, crew crime, <laughs> true crime um, down the drain for me. Could watch it on my phone. Just doesn't have the same desires, you know, the same effect. <laughs> Technology be failing me. My phone is slowly dying. I'm getting a new one actually. I know the new one's coming out soon. I think I go to pick it up on Friday. So that's exciting. I need a computer. My laptop is just, slowly giving up i need a, a desktop computer but that is just like way out of my budget right now because rent and tax and just being an adult um so that's fun so I i'm like should i just sit here in silence it's probably good for me but I, do i want to no i want to watch true crime <laughs> so i guess true crime on the phone it will be This is some delicate ass foam, you know. It doesn't even stick. I just want a foam beard. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grow the fuck up now. I'm 30 years old, this needs to stop. I'm gonna enjoy this bath. I hope you guys treat yourself somehow, some way this weekend. I mean, it won't be the weekend when you're watching this, but I hope you had a good weekend and I hope you took some time to take care of yourself because girl you know if you ain't taking care of yourself then i don't know what you're doing guys i'm not being funny but look at the color of me i am so red oh <laughs> my god an actual tomato 
honestly you lot that was so lovely i feel like i want to do it all the time but i also feel like i can't handle it like my heart rate started going really high <laughs> i could feel like a pulse throughout my whole body but now i just feel so good i feel so like relaxed and zen oh my god this is so uncomfortable Ooh. all right listen you too oh <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Monday, or whatever day it is where you are. Starting the day off early, it is 9.25 and I'm literally dressed, makeup done, hair done, ready to go shoot, which is so good. I've been really trying to get back into a routine. I feel like that will definitely help my mental state and I feel like it's been such a long time since I've had like a regular routine and I know that I just work best when my life has some sort of structure to it. So I feel like I know what I'm doing and I'm like, accomplishing things you know this perfume's been around for ages and i am so late to the game um but i was watching sarah ashcroft the other day shout out sarah ashcroft i was watching her vlogs the other day and she mentioned the molecule perfume and she brought it back to my attention i was like oh my god because it's been years since i wanted to try this and back in the day i was like that's way too expensive and it's still it's still really expensive so i just bought the travel version and essentially basically what this perfume is it's got some kind of I don't know ingredient in it that works with like your natural pheromones I think so it smells completely different on every person so I'm just really intrigued and I've wanted to try it for so long and I finally got it so I'm gonna spray it now and see I guess I should maybe do like a spray test but I haven't got anyone to test it on right now oh there's no lid that's weird um I also tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze today it's just like a little brow gel thing along and to be honest i feel like i like the nyx brow freeze more it's so much cheaper as well this is literally like 23 pounds but i thought i'd try it because i'm doing my mum's makeup for her wedding yes i'm nervous but we did a trial and it looked so good and i just wanted to see if this was any better but i think that nyx brow gel the brow glue is insane anyway i just want to see what it smells like like on its own see it doesn't really smell of anything it kind of just smells like a little bit fresh, but it's like a very faint smell. So yeah, I guess we'll see. I'm really excited. This is what the bottle looks like. It's definitely bigger than I thought though. Like I'm kind of pleased with the size of it, but I'm gonna give it a spray. And then I guess we'll have to see like how it wears throughout the day. I was looking for the lid, there's no lid. It smells nice. It doesn't smell very strong. Like there isn't much smell to it right now. So I'll keep you guys updated. But right now I'm out. I'm going to go shoot. I'm wearing the outfit that I wore to the Van Gogh immersive experience the other day. I mean that was a while ago now. But I've been wanting to shoot this outfit. So I just want to get it done. I'm feeling a little bit anxious today and apprehensive. Because I, if you didn't know, I shoot pretty much all of my Instagram content on my own. So I literally go out with a tripod. <laughs> into the streets where i do not belong <laughs> and shoot myself and yeah there's people walking past and all of that and today i'm just not feeling as ballsy but you gotta do what you gotta do we gotta make this bread um we gotta get this content i actually really enjoy it and i like being able to see my basically i'm the worst person for like having my photo taken or posing like if you ever saw me on a shoot you'd probably cringe like it's so bad my lips start switching so it's just easier for me to be able to look at the front like use the front cramp front camera front camera and like see what i look like see what the poses look like basically i can't pose unless there's a mirror in front of me or unless I can see myself. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna go shoot. I need to find a location. I don't really know where to shoot this kind of look. Maybe like somewhere grassy, green? Ah, I don't know. But I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna try and get full body shots, but it's really difficult, especially when you're tall. Anyway, I'm rambling. See this right now? It just smells a bit peppery. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go do this. It's quite early as well, so hopefully there's not that many people like out and about. And it's a Monday, so hopefully most people are just at work or at school. Um, but yeah, let's go get it. When I say I shot that quickly, we did get some pics though. I haven't really noticed that location before, but it's really nice and just clean, I guess. Kind of like rough clean, very concrete-y. It looks nice, very simple. So I will go back there. Unfortunately, it's very grey outside. The weather's not ideal, like the lighting's not ideal, but it's fine. I did have some builders who were up at the top of some building, like to my right, making like meowing noises and just being very like distracting and annoying. Um, so I just wanted to get that done ASAP. Like men who do that, can we please just stop? Like, how old are we? 
in this current climate where women are already scared and intimidated etc to just be outside like i literally bought a rape alarm the other day because i just felt like i should have one yeah can we please stop with this childish like animalistic behavior thank you i'm gonna edit these and then i think i'm gonna go to westfield i need to go sit somewhere that isn't at home and definitely isn't in my room to try and finish up this speech just like get it all in order i want to get like a few last minute bits i want to pop into zara because i keep seeing people with nice things from zara and um i just need to have a look you know there's a few beauty things i need to get i need to get some white nail polish some face like spray tan stuff that i use just to give me like that little glow and a few other bits i can't even remember right now but yes i want to go do that maybe treat myself to some lunch in pret or something but i'm gonna go now because it's early so it'll be like empty i think i'll go and do bits and bobs around the shops because they're just going to be opening whilst it's quiet as much as i hate that it's getting colder i'm so excited that boot season is like big boot season is back although I, i'm not gonna lie i did wear my dr martens for like most of the summer but <laughs> i don't know i'm just excited for like the fashion anyway i'm gonna go i'm gonna edit these and then we're gonna head over to westfield baby my battery's gonna die anyway so i'll catch you in a little bit be nice to be somewhere other than in this room vlogging i apologize guys <laughs> What's good, Bam Bam Land? I felt so uncomfortable in this outfit all day. Like, I don't know why, I just felt like it was really, I felt very revealed. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd just do like a little mini haul because I didn't get that many things. And I don't think you guys want to like watch sit down haul videos. So I'm just gonna go through this with y'all right now. Oh my God, so I went into Zara. There were so many cute things. There was an amazing pair of green heels and I almost got them, but the, that was the one pair left in my size and they looked like they'd been worn. They were dusty and they had like, I don't know what it was on the front of the toe. And yeah, I just thought, I don't need this. I probably won't wear them and they're dusty. But I did pick up this pair of like green, I think they're like lounge leggings, but they are so soft and the color is just beautiful. Um, and I got the matching top to go with it. Honestly, I can't even tell you how soft and mm, these are. I need to try them on though, but I'm sure you'll be seeing me in those at some point soon. I also picked up some arm warmers. I've been loving the look of these lately. Probably should have tried them on actually because they look a little bit like small and not so scrunchy, but I'm loving the arm warmers vibes at the moment. Like they just look so cool. And we are going into the colder months, so I thought it would be appropriate. They had a few nice colors. They had like orange and pink as well, and then like a more brown toned nude, but I thought I'd just go for like the plainest, simplest ones because they'll kind of go with everything. And that's all I got from Zara. And then I went into H&M. Let me just take out my food shop. I went to Waitrose as well. Got some kale for dinner tonight, avocado, bread, and now there's seeds everywhere, so that's great, and potatoes for dinner tonight, oh, and also a toilet spray, <laughs> but I have been looking for a brown leather jacket, brown leather, brown puffer jacket for ages, and I went into H&M, and I found the most perfect one. Oh my god, I love it. It's like a lovely chocolatey brown. It's a little bit like ready purple toned, but it's pretty much perfect. Super soft and comfortable. I got it in an extra small, which is kind of unusual for me, but it fits perfectly. And I feel like I'd still be able to get something on underneath it as well. Look, it's so cute. I've been banging on about wanting a brown cropped puffer jacket for this autumn winter. Walked in and to my surprise, they had the most perfect one in H&M. And it was, it was only $34.99. Don't walk, run. I'll leave a link down below if I can find it online to all of this stuff. But yeah, that's, that's all I picked up. Honestly, I wanted to walk around a little bit more. I walked around a little bit in the shops, then I went to Pret and I was like, oh, let me have an, another little mooch stood up and well first of all it was a struggle to stand up you guys should have seen me trying to walk home it was hilarious i literally looked like a little penguin just like waddling along i was so uncomfortable went to 
go out of the exit of Westfield that I knew had an escalator going downwards. And guess what? The escalator, the only the downwards one, was not working. So I had to like slowly climb down. It was so embarrassing. People probably thought I needed to like poo or something. I don't know, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, these are some cutesy bits. I also feel like the brown and the green kind of look really cute together. So I might have to, I've ordered some boots and I think I'm gonna do like a cool little look with those. So hopefully those boots will come soon. But yeah, some nice little pickups. I'm trying to be like a lot more intentional with um, the stuff I buy. There was also like a jumper, kind of sweatshirt, sweater that I wanted to get to go with these. But I was like, mm, am I buying it just to go with the leggings or do I actually like it? And I was like, mm, I don't I don't love it. Like it's nice, I'll wear it around the house after I've shot it, but like, I don't love it. So I decided to leave it behind. I really, really wanna be a lot more intentional with the things I buy. I'm also like doing a massive clear out at the moment so that I just have a wardrobe full of stuff that I love. And when I see myself like not going for things anymore, I want to get rid of them so I've given a lot of stuff away to my dad to send to Jamaica and I've got a lot I've got like three or four bin bags full of stuff ready to get picked up by a charity collection service and I've got so much more to go through but yeah I just want to okay let me not let me not lie I don't want a minimalistic lifestyle but I definitely want to be more intentional and more selective and really like love the stuff that I have I hate having so much stuff and like nowhere to put it and not knowing what to do with it or just like avoiding getting rid of it it doesn't make me feel good in my head so we're making changes i feel like there was a million other things i wanted to say but once again i turn the camera on and i get nervous <gasps> look how jacked i'm getting <laughs> also i always get questions about this set this set is from alphalete it's so cute this v is so so flattering it makes me look like i have a waist even though i don't also this sports bra is very flattering guys cellulite is normal i have loads of it especially since i've gained weight but you know what? I've got boobs as well and I love it. <laughs> the speech writing was pretty good. I basically had like everything I kind of wanted to say written down, but I just kind of finalised it and put it all together like in order of how I want it, I think. I'm going to read over it again in like a few hours once I've had a break from it. Tried to do some editing, but like a lot of the footage was me in the bath and I was very conscious that there was people like sitting to the left and right of me that could see my phone my computer screen so i was like right it's time to go but it was really nice to get out of the house actually i think i need to do it more often to be honest i spend most of my time in this bedroom and it's not a very big bedroom and i don't think that's healthy so i definitely want to try and do more like out and about working date stuff but also i need to have work to do <laughs> oh my god i also met the cutest subscriber in um zara earlier i'm so sorry if i was like awkward i I've just been feeling really anxious today, but it was so lovely to meet you. You are so beautiful. And I hope you got the puffer jacket because it was amazing. It banged and I know it will look so good on you. The tones with your skin tone, girl. Mm. Rings are off. Got my juice. This juice is the light. Elite. Elite. How do you? See, this is the problem with being half French is I'd never know how to pronounce words. I don't know if elite is correct or if elite is correct or if elite is like the French pronunciation or can you say both? I think it's in like the Polish section at the supermarket. It's the raspberry syrup. It's not called syrup. Cordial. It bangs. Try it. I'll try and get the bottle later. My legs are too sore right now. And then for my schneck, my little editing snack, guys. I just finished having dinner. It was really good. Vegan sausages. They are the Linda McCartney Lincolnshire sausages. They are the goat. If you have not tried them and you're into like meat substitutes, just go try them. They're delicious. Threw some gravy on there. Bish, bash, bosh. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt, babes. Yeah, I haven't had much of an appetite lately. It's so weird. I get really hungry before my period comes. And once my period comes, I have no appetite. Like I know I'm hungry, but I don't have the appetite for the food, if that makes sense. Like I, I don't feel like eating it, but my body's hungry. 
you know what I'm saying? Um, and I thought I was gonna struggle through that, but actually it was pretty easy to eat. So that's really good, um, cause I'm trying to like, I'm trying to maintain weight. I put weight on, which is amazing. I'm naturally like really slim and I find it quite difficult to put on weight and keep it on. So I'm really trying hard to maintain my weight slash even put some more on cause I wanna build some muscle. So I wanna like bulk over the winter season and just see what my body can do. And I also just, yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable with a bit more body fat but yeah that was delicious actually it was really nice just simple the greens were really good i'm trying to get more veggies in I need to start like making my smoothies and stuff again but anyway i am going to close up this vlog here i'm going to try and finish editing footage that i filmed today so hopefully i can get it out for you guys tomorrow i want to stay on track with this but yeah i'm going to carry on watching rick and morty and just try and finish up this edit tonight and um i will catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button it really helps me out if you are not subscribed then what are you doing come join the green family green gang and yeah i'll see you guys all in my next video until next time bye